So getting straight into the tutorial then, we're going to be starting off with the left shoe first. So the first thing we're going to do is take the laces and we're going to thread them through the two bottom holes. So just going ahead and threading the lace through and then the other bottom hole as well. Then to make sure that the laces are the same length on either side, we're going to hold the two tips together just like that and then pull up, making sure that the lace is flat and that as you can see, the laces are the same length on either side. So we're ready to go ahead and start lacing the shoes all the way up. So the next thing we're going to do is take this lace and we're going to thread it through the second hole up on the other side of the shoe. So outside going to the inside. Just like that. And now when you do this, you don't want to pull the lace completely tightly. You want to leave it a little bit loose. So the next thing we're going to do is take this lace and we're going to thread it through the second hole up on the other side of the shoe. So inside to the outside. Just like that once again, leaving it a little bit loose. Next thing we're going to do is take this lace and we're going to thread it through the third hole up on the other side of the shoe. So just going ahead and threading the lace through just like that. Then the next thing we're going to do is take this lace and we're going to thread it through the third hole up on the other side of the shoe. Making sure that the lace is flat just like that. Then the next thing we're going to do is take the lace and we're going to thread it through the next available hole on the other side of the shoe. So just going ahead and threading the lace through just like that. Then the next thing we're going to do is take the lace and thread it through the next available hole on the other side of the shoe. As always, leaving the lace a little bit loose. Then we're going to take the lace and we're going to thread it through the next hole up on the other side of the shoe. Just like that. And then take the lace and thread it through the next hole up on the other side of the shoe. Then we're going to take the lace and we're going to thread it through the next available hole on the other side of the shoe. Just like that. And then we're going to take this lace and we're going to thread it through the next available hole on the other side of the shoe. Just like that. Then we're going to take this lace and we're going to thread it through the next available hole on the other side of the shoe. Just like that. And then we're going to take this lace and we're going to thread it through the next hole up on the other side of the shoe. Just like that. Then we're going to take this lace and we're going to thread it through this hole right here on the other side of the shoe. So just going ahead and threading the lace through just like that. And then we're going to take this lace and we're going to thread it through the next hole up on the other side of the shoe. Just like that. Then once you get to the second from the very top holes on either side of the shoe, what you're going to want to do is rather than taking the lace and threading it over the top like we have been doing, you're going to want to thread it underneath. Just like that. 
so as you can see you have a bit of lace hanging out at the top. Then you go into one to take this lace and once again rather than threading it over the top you go into one to thread it underneath. Just like that. So that is how to loosely lace your Air Jordan 4s. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it on the right shoe as well. So getting straight into the right shoe then, once again we're going to start off by taking the laces and threading them through the two bottom holes. So just going ahead and threading the lace through. And then to make sure that the laces are the same length on either side, we're going to hold the two tips together just like that and pull up making sure that the lace is flat and as you can see the laces are the same length on either side so we're ready to go ahead and start lacing the shoes all the way up so the next thing we're going to do is take this lace and we're going to thread it through the second hole up on the other side of the shoe so outside to the inside Just like that, as always, leaving the lace a little bit loose. Then we're going to take this lace and we're going to thread it through the second hole up on the other side of the shoe. So inside to the outside. Just like that. Then we're going to take this lace and we're going to thread it through the third hole up on the other side of the shoe. just like that. Then we're going to take this lace and we're going to thread it through the third hole up on the other side of the shoe. Then we're going to take this lace and we're going to thread it through the next available hole on the other side of the shoe. Just like that and then you're going to want to take this lace and thread it through the next available hole on the other side of the shoe. Then you're going to want to take this lace and thread it through the next hole up on the other side of the shoe. And then take this lace and thread it through the next available hole on the other side of the shoe. Then take this lace and thread it through the next hole up on the other side of the shoe. As always, leaving the lace a little bit loose. And then take this lace and thread it through the next hole up on the other side of the shoe. And then take this lace and thread it through the next hole up on the other side of the shoe. Then we're going to take this lace and thread it through the next hole up. And then take the lace and thread it through the next available hole on the other side of the shoe. Then we're going to take this lace and thread it through the next hole up on the other side of the shoe. Then once again, once we get to the two top holes, what you're going to want to do is take the lace and thread it underneath rather than over the top. Just like that. And then take the lace and rather than threading it over the top, just thread it underneath. And as you can see, you have two bits of lace hanging out at the top and the laces are nice and loose. So that was how to loosely lace your Air Jordan 4s. Make sure to let me know what you think of this lacing style in the comment section down below. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what the lacing style looks like on feet with lots of different trousers and stuff. So let's get into it. Let's go.